Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to the farm. Kind of started doing my old uh, intro there. Well, today guys, we are going to be starting our fall harvest. We're going to be starting on uh, combining some soybeans here. And uh, getting that done, and then eventually we'll move on over to our corn. Uh, once we get our soybeans combined, but... We are first off going to start with our uh, soybeans here. So if you remember yesterday, we uh, sold some silage. Uh, we got about just on just over sixty-eight thousand uh, dollars, just over that. So not uh, not too bad of an amount off of uh, hundred thousand liters of silage. Especially with uh, us causing our price to tank uh, extremely. Now, that is one nice thing about, or one neat thing, I guess, kind of in a way, uh, about 17. Is that, like in 15, you could sell as much as you wanted within an hour. And your price would stay the same. But then as soon as you hit that next hour, it would just drop. But uh, now in 17, it's with each load that you sell, it's going to drop. Uh, it is kind of, it's kind of neat. It's a little bit more difficult, a little more challenging than uh, than it was to just sell as much as you can in an hour and you know see what you can get. But yeah, so it's kind of neat. I really, in, really am liking this soybean texture on this map. It definitely beats the uh, standard vanilla one. Uh, I really don't like the standard texture because it just looks a lot like wheat or barley until you get up close to it. Like it, even then, it still looks a little bit like it. I don't really care for it. So we'll have to see what we can get for soybeans out of this field, or out of our both of our fields, I guess. These fields really aren't that large. None of our fields really are that we're running right now, but uh, hopefully next season we'll be able to change that. We'll uh, hopefully be able to upgrade pretty heavily to some much larger fields. Well, not much larger fields, just to more fields. And then, uh, then we'll have more crop to take care of we'll be able to fill a few more bins I think next season we might try and start running some sunflowers as well uh, add those to the mix of our crops and maybe throw some barley in there or something uh, we don't since we aren't doing dairy anymore we don't have to uh, do a crop that we can make straw from we could technically we could just run corn and beans and sunflowers if we wanted to next season but I think I think we're gonna try and do like more sunflowers than anything maybe I don't know um, actually we could since we aren't doing dairy it'll be a little easier to move um, maps so we could move over to the more recent version of the map and then we'd have the ability to run uh, oats, rye, millet, sorghum. Uh, there'd be quite a few added crops that we could start running. Uh, we're missing big time. Um, there are quite a few other crops that we could run as well, but I think I'm okay sticking to this version for now. Maybe we'll switch. Uh, I would definitely wait until our grain is all sold and everything. Uh, because then, you know, things would... Uh, thing, you know, that wouldn't mess with anything. Like, we wouldn't have grain sitting around. So that would uh, definitely help us. That would definitely help the move 
a little better, a little bit more. I don't know why I'm suddenly dropping frames. Dropping quite a bit. We might be lucky to fill the combine twice off of this field. I mean, if this is the yield with uh, three stages of fertilization, I would hate to see what uh, one would do. But we are also, you know, the periodic plowing that does also add to your yield a little bit. Uh, that does help, I think. I think I saw something. Ah! I think I saw something that said that uh, that does contribute. You know, doing your periodic plowing, uh, it does help contribute a little bit to. Come on, get over there. In the world. So before it was picking up an extra row, and now it won't pick up all the way. Kind of annoying. That's one thing that I find super annoying about uh, headers and stuff like that, is that one pass it'll take more than its width, and then the next pass you can't get it to take its full width even. I don't get why, but I guess that's just how it is in this game. So when you zoom out, the chop straw looks kind of goofy. I don't know. And you can just see, like, spots in our other field. And it looks like our uh, windrows did go away. Oh, no. Maybe they didn't. No, they didn't. It's just the viewing distance. Can't quite see them. But they will go away. Um, you know, if they're not gone by the time we plow, then they'll be gone when we plow, of course, because then we're going to plow them under. Grab those two little bits. So we got to turn around here. So I did look, uh, if you remember we have uh, a variety of gravity wagons. So we've got the Brent gra uh, gravity wagon. That one holds 26,430 liters. Now our current one holds 23,960. So I mean it's a couple thousand liters more. It's about 2,000 or so liters more. And then I also have this Parker which holds 22,024.4 blah 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 blah. I don't, I don't know what happened there that it has all that, but uh, we do have the Parker, but I would like to get uh, next season the, uh, for next year, the International Transtar Grain Truck. Um, maybe. That or we'll just get like maybe the Brent gravity wagon in addition to our gravity wagon that we have, or we'll just stick to what we've got. Uh, I think we may most likely just stick with this one for another year and uh, buy a new one at the end of next year, and then we'll upgrade to a grain truck. But we'll have to see see what happens, I guess. So we hit our 80% mark. Combine is fully dirty again, and our header is barely dirty. Let's see, is it 100% dirty yet? Uh, it must not be quite 100% dirty, because it's not showing 100% or dirt 100% uh, where it says harvesting. Not yet, anyways, I guess. Just about full. We'll be able to unload these uh, beans here. There we go. 
Alright, so let's tab over here to this guy, and we'll head on over here to the Combine. I guess I haven't gone back and looked yet if these uh, J&Ms do have a dirt skin on them. I think the wheels do, for sure. I think it might have a dirt skin. So it might actually get dirty, I'm not sure though. stuff down. Oh, I'm still running super fast. I do like the uh, fill planes for the beans. Does look pretty nice. Alright, and we're back rolling now. One thing that I wish um, Farm Sim did is had realistic chop straw. Um, when I say realistic chop straw, what I mean is in farm sim the chop straw basically runs pretty much the uh... it spreads as wide as the header pretty much but in real life you could be running a sixty foot header but your chop straw would still like your straw it would still be blowing out at the same distance uh, because you know the combine shredder it spreads a certain distance and that's it it doesn't spread any farther but here in farm sim it seems that you know it just basically goes as goes the width of your header is how it seems to go um, you know like a corn header the chop straw appears right at the end of the header which is kind of annoying in a way because you know it wouldn't just appear at the header in real life either but I know I'm kinda dreaming big here thinking that you know FS could be uh, somewhat realistic to real life so I mean I'm just dreaming here of course as always but it would definitely be nice if farm sim was a little more realistic uh, in a lot of aspects I mean it is already pretty good but uh, it still has a long ways that it could go. There is lots of room for potential. If uh, giants would just take advantage of that potential. But I don't I don't foresee that happening at all. After we finish this field, we're going to have to uh, figure out our yield here. It's not going to be very high on this field, that's for sure. Our uh, bushels per acre number might be a little more realistic on this than it was on the wheat. Maybe a little more of a realistic, uh, somewhat realistic amount, I guess. Probably not going to be super realistic, but might be a little bit more realistic than uh, what we had on our wheat field there. Uh, I think our wheat field was like 150 bushels to the acre. I think is what that ended up being. It's crazy, crazy number, but. Uh, 
ahead and uh, go along this edge here. It definitely is crazy to think that we're almost done with an entire farm sim year uh, already in about three weeks. Because uh, I have a feeling that by the end of this week, we might be done combining already. Uh, of course, we are going to do some fall tillage. Um, you know, I'll fast forward a few days first, but uh, sometime here in the fall, I want to run the cultivator over uh, our fields and just using stubble cultivator, of course. And uh, that'll make it so the chop straw stays, but our stubble will cultivate under it. I'm pretty sure. I've, that or it's the other way around. I haven't used stubble cultivator in a long, long time, so I may not remember exactly correctly how it works, but I'm pretty sure it's it takes out the stubble and leaves the chop straw behind. So yeah, I'd probably go to like the fourth or fifth day of autumn, maybe. Um, I would only do our bean and corn fields anyways, because like the wheat field, all that's there is the stubble. Um, really? Uh, because the, the straw will disappear, so I mean it'd basically be a fully cultivated field. And uh, we don't really need that. Uh, we'll wait with that. So we'll just go ahead and run our stubble cultivator over and or run our cultivator over with stubble cultivator activated. So that way we are only getting rid of stubble, not just uh, putting it all the way back to the cultivated state. might be able to finish this field on this video start on the next one as well it may actually be a little bit longer than uh, a couple of days then till the weekend that uh, we harvest but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just put the time scale on 120 times uh, while we work on harvest oh Nah. I don't know. We'll just fast forward a couple of days after harvest here. Or maybe what we'll do is we'll combine the soybeans. And then we'll fast forward to like the third day or something like that. And uh, then combine corn. Because com corn is usually done later in the fall uh, than soybeans are. Like soybeans are kind of more in the summer, uh, at least around here. Cause like soybeans are being combined. Well, they're not being combined quite yet, but they're not far off. Well, I guess it isn't really summer much anymore. It is getting into fall. I keep thinking that it's still like July or August, but no, it's it's September already. Kind of crazy to think that uh, the year is almost over already. just three months away from uh, being into December. It's crazy to think of. So we're not quite going to fill this combine up again, but we are going to come pretty close. So we're at 80 now. Well, we might... Nah. There's not enough here to fill the combine, I don't think. 
we got one more full pass here and then just a little bit to pick up so not gonna be quite full but uh, we will be pretty pretty close won't be far off oh, if only the header would pick that a little bit up It'd be so nice but that would just be too too easy okay so we have to unload the combine now anyways um, even though it's not full normally I do wait until it's full but uh, I want to empty now so I can figure out how much we got off of this field ahead and let that unload and we'll just tab over here to our tractor while we get some uh, tabs opened up so this one is going to be leaders to bushels and then we need our series info and this is field 20 Five that we're on I think uh, and then we also need our calculator open now we can hop back in game here Let's just double check field 25 we've got really come on 15 583 15 all right we'll go type that in here 15,583, that is 442.2 bushels, 442.2, and this field is 4 acres, actually this might be a pretty high number, 442.2 divided by 4, 110.55, we'll just put 110.5 bushels to the acre. Again, a pretty high amount, but it is a pretty small field, too, so that has a lot to do with it. All right, let's go ahead and get this other soybean field opened up. opening this up and we'll be able to combine it tomorrow so you know we might be done combining by maybe Sunday or Monday because we'll be able to get see we still got we still got six and a half minutes left of this video so we'll be able to get this field opened up pretty well and then we'll be able to we should be able to finish combining it tomorrow and possibly start on our corn maybe um, yeah maybe might be able to do a little bit we'll have to uh, just kinda see how things go I guess of course we will have to empty tomorrow at least uh, we didn't have to empty anything today but so then with figuring out how many uh, liters of soybeans we got off this field what we'll do is after soybean harvest We'll uh, move the little auger over to the uh, bin that we're putting soybeans in. And then we'll figure out our ending amount. And then we'll just subtract whatever amount we had, um, you know, we have put down you know, the 15,583 that we have uh, 
put into the document for this field and then we'll be able to figure out how many liters we had left um, you know after subtracting that amount So I'm not going to do a headland on that end because there's nothing that we're going to hit. It's just grass down there, so there's nothing too major down there. But I am going to do th like three headlands up on this end just because of the power lines. I just want to make sure that I have plenty of turning room uh, up there. Because I do not want to be hitting those power lines. I don't think we're really filling up very fast here either. No, not really. There definitely isn't like super fast yields in uh, 17 so far that I've noticed. Uh, like there was in 15, like especially with soil mod, you could get, if you got your ground just right, you could really fill a combine like super duper fast. Like it, it was insane. But it could also be some of the maps too in 15 that like their yields were just set really high. Cause I know there were some maps like that where their yield was just really high uh, to begin with. And then you go in, you put your soil mod in, you get everything you know, neutral to where you're getting 100% yield and uh, you're sitting pretty good. I think having Seasons mod and Soil mod uh, together would be really, really awesome. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd make for some interesting gameplay. I think it'd be kind of fun, actually. Uh, I wish this combine would stop better than what it does. Because now it doesn't stop worth crap it is awful but oh well I guess it's especially bad on a hillside that's when it's really really bad Yeah, so like with figuring out uh, the yield off of this field, I'm not going to like go dump that gravity wagon and then like write down, you know, oh, I filled the gravity wagon once or twice or whatever. Although I don't think we're going to even hardly fill it. That's kind of poor. It's kind of sad that uh, we're not even going to fill our gravity wagon twice. I mean, we may fill it once and then maybe halfway. It's pretty, pretty poor yields. But then again, we are running pretty small fields, so they just seem huge because of the tiny combine and, you know, the small equipment, but I guess in reality they are pretty small. Four acres, six acres, that kind of s stuff, that's pretty small. But uh, that is going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.